nothing in one house, where they're forced to watch season five of The Bachelor, but while wearing headphones, so we don't have to get the rights to that show. I can't believe Jake tried to Binge Pipe has no choice but to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, ethically troubling. <laughs> Hey friends, I'm Cookie Masterson, your host, and I am wearing a wire, so don't say any mob stuff around me. Eight players, I'm l aided. Hmm, <laughs> sadly, that was the best joke in the game. Okay, let's hit it. Time for question one. To get things rolling, I'd like to formally apologize for what we're about to do here. Who's about to blow their load? Someone setting dynamite next to their house foundation? Someone setting dynamite next to their ore deposit? Someone setting dynamite next to their lower legs? Or someone setting dynamite next to their car exhaust? Let's see who got it. Could be worse, you know, in theory. A load is an ore deposit. Honestly, whatever you do with your ore deposits is none of my business. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. Required reading for dragon breeding. Who wrote Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Jane Catherine Rowling, Joanne Kathleen Rowling, Joan Kimberly Rowling, or Jalen Carter Rowling? So who got it? Um, excuse me. This is the one you missed. Yep, that's J.K. Rowling's full name. Now, if I had a nickel for every time J.K. Rowling had a nickel, I would have $650 million. Why don't we do it with free? This one's known as... Flip or flop, and it's not just a real estate TV show, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read seven words, and for each one, tell me if it's the name of an Olympic gymnastics flip, or the title of a movie that flopped critically and commercially. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a gymnastics flip or... A movie that flopped. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Here it comes. Pike. Tuck. That was mostly miserable, but player five, you failed in ways numbers can't truly explain. Binge Pipe customer retention protocol has been activated. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Now that's what I call consumer engagement. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question.
question for? Coming up, it's a total burning sensation. What has two thumbs and likes to burn books? This guy, Montag. This guy, Fox. This guy, Fear. So watch out. Player 5 just dropped a screw on you guys. Luckily, this question's even better backwards. And how do we do? This might be discouraging. <laughs> Guy Montag is the protagonist of Fahrenheit 451, who initially enjoys his job burning books. Hey, good work with that screw player five. Spend this wisely. It's time for Doc Block. Say your sexy, sexy doctor can clearly see how thirsty you are. What's the most likely diagnosis? Horniness and diabetes, horniness and hypertension, horniness and Lyme disease, or horniness and scurvy? Let's see how that shook out. The bad news is your answer. <laughs> No, no, I'll get it. Constant, unquenchable thirst is one of the major symptoms of diabetes. Official diagnosis, diabetes AF. <laughs> Round one is officially behind us. Numbers, numbers, show me numbers. Currently, player one is in the lead. And down here. These players are making everyone feel bad. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? It's like the first round didn't even matter. Six trombones is not a parade. Here's one for you sabbatical to the bone what makes the most sense to do after high school if you take a gap year fold lucky brand jeans fold 1969 jeans fold arizona jeans or what's this player seven has screwed you all binge pipe was going to make you read this eventually might as well be now What'd you pick? Congrats, you got the folding part right. <laughs> you know what? Nobody got it. Let's just cut to the chase. 1969 is the brand name of Gap Jeans. Very nice screw job, Player 7. This is your cash now. Hey, question. At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a delicate question about musicals or a musical question about delicates? Vote on your devices now. Your choices cancel each other out. Binge Pipe will select the slightly better option. Las Bears Je Moque de Moi. Set. This one's called A Delicate Question About Musicals. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll try to tread carefully here. In which musical do Vendla and Melchior, how do I put this, share a, uh, <clears throat> intimate moment in a hayloft? Dear Evan Hansen, Spring Awakening, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, or, well, what do you know? Player three decided to screw. Hope you're a fast typer. Okay, let's take a look. 
Uh, no. <laughs> the better choice would have been... Yeah, two teenagers f their brains out in an old barn in Spring Awakening. <laughs> I said the question would be delicate, not the answer. Nicely screwed, Player 3. Here's your extra cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Introducing Every Kiss Begins with Klimt. If you've ever been in a college dorm, you know that Gustav Klimt painted the kiss, but I'm pretty sure he didn't paint anything called the next day phone call or the making a real commitment to this relationship. If the lady from the Viennese painting the kiss were depicted going to town on a traditional Viennese dessert, what would that painting of her eating her Viennese feelings be called? The tearful tiramisu, the sobbing in a soccer torch, the pitiful profiteroles, or the choking on a croquembouche? Okay, who chose what? Soccer Torte is a decadent chocolate cake that was invented by Franz Soccer in Vienna. And it's just fun to say. Soccer Torte. In the end, chocolate will never break your heart. Na, 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 na. Take a good look at our digital friendship. Uh, maybe I'll take a quick bathroom break. Pipe recommends because you're a total horse person who hates horse movies where the main horse dies. We think you'll love War Horse, Lean on Pete, Black Beauty, or Far Lap. Hope you like what you picked. Spoiler alert! Albert and Joey ride off into the sunset at the end of this movie. A total horse person. That's a centaur, right? Up next! Whether you like it or not. What's a condescending way to describe condensation? Everybody knows water becomes ice. Water becomes steam if that's what you're into. Ice becomes water, but you haven't become anything. Or so what if steam becomes water? You want a parade? What'd you guys pick? Okay, when water vapor cools down, it turns from steam to a liquid, and this process is called condensation. In the water cycle, condensation occurs in clouds. What? No, oh, I shouldn't talk about clouds. They're way over your head. Ow. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You're a monster. Not to put a label on it, but we're putting monster labels on it. Good luck.
Air 5's got it! I gotta hand it to you, Player 5. You will henceforth be known as Winner, and your competition will forever hear whispers saying, You don't know Jack! Enjoy the 